Hi everyone, my name is Fabiana and to, today we'll be making a spring cardigan with this uh, lightweight yarn. It is a lightweight because it has 100 grams and 400 meters, okay? So any yarn you can find that's light to double knit yarn will work for this project. As soon as the gauge is similar, like my gauge is 14, stitches by 20 rows okay so if you get the same gauge you can just follow the pattern in the pattern i have sizes from extra small to extra large with all the rows calculated for you guys it's down on the description below okay so this is a lightweight yarn and because of that the because it has a lot of meters in each row we are going to be using for a size medium, that's what I'm making, only two rows of this yarn, okay? So it's uh, a very low con yarn consuming cardigan because it's, it's lightweight for spring and summer, okay? That's um, the yarn I'm gonna be using and then only all you're gonna need is a crochet hook, it can be any size crochet hook, a darning needle, and scissors. Okay, for the sleeves, I'm going to be using the Centro 40, which uh, to make a tube. So if you have a, your Centro 40, you can use the Centro 40 for, for sizes from extra small to medium. Okay, large and extra large you can make on your Adi machine. So here are my two sleeves. I made uh, four rows with waist yarn in a very contrasting color so I can see the stitches later to buy, to buy them off. And here I only used tapestry needle and a contrasting color of yarn to cast them off of the machine, okay? 104 rows for each, 40 stitches sleeve. And uh, the two panels, here yeah, I actually have three panels already, but my two back panels, I made exactly the same thing, okay? So I uh, made four rows with waist yarn. They're, as you can see, they're square panels. So these are my back panels. If you want the measurements, the measurements I'm gonna leave down the description below together with the, together with the gauge, okay? But these are my two panels. So now we are going to make the other side, which is going to be mirrored, okay? So in one side of the panel, you're going to decrease stitches on the beginning of the row, and on the other side, you're going to decrease stitches at the end of the row. We're going to decrease at the end now, as you can see here, if I put, that's the way it was on the machine. So I decrease on the beginning, as you can see. So now I'm going to decrease the same way, but at the end of the row, so we have them mirrored when you finish your project. So guys, we are going to make now the front panel, the last front panel. And again, if you don't know how to use panels, I have a panel course on my website down on the description below. And I also have a video on my Knitting Machine Basics playlist that you can watch to make your first panel. It's not that hard, okay? And it's much better for sweaters because it's one single layer and you can make sweaters for summer or winter, whatever you prefer, okay? So now let's cast on from needle one using the tube mode of our machine. So we can start here. Otherwise, this, um, this needle would be locked and you wouldn't be able to use if you put on the panel mode, okay? So tube mode from needle one and let's cast on 37 stitches from here. So all the way to needle 37. And then make four rows, make four rows like with this yarn. Now put your row counter back to zero 
Place your working yarn inside the machine and leave a long tail so you can seam the panels later. Now we're gonna start working on the panel mode again. We're gonna be working for this size, medium size, we're gonna be working with making a hundred rows before we start the round neck cut, okay? So stop, stop here when you have 98 rows and then I'll come back to explain how, how we're gonna make this um, round neck cut here. Now I'm on my row number 99, okay? And now I'm going to make this row all the way until I have 16 stitches left at the end, okay? So... If you want to place a marker, just place a marker here. And this part, so here the number of stitches, it is going to change depending on the size you are making, okay? So if you're making any other size, just refer to, to the last table on the, um, on the pattern so you can see how many stitches you have to decrease, you have to cast off the, for this first row. So make the panel, I'm going to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, until I'm going to make this row until the number 21 needle, okay? So here I'm on needle number 21 and that's the last needle I'm going to use the yarn and then because I'm casting off the last stitches I'm going to just make them without the yarn to release them from the needles and now I'm going to bind them off with waste yarn and a tapestry needle. So I have all my 16 stitches secured here and I don't need to worry about them anymore. So now what I do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that spot where the yarn is. So I can keep working here now. Actually, so now um, I work two rows here. I'm going to work two rows, I forgot. And it's the same of the other one. And now I'm going to decrease one stitch here to make the neck round as I want. That's what you have to do. So that's what you do in knitting as well. I'm going to just release these three needles. And with the help of a hook, I'm just going to grab these three stitches. gonna put the machine back to when this needle is halfway open and then remove this first stitch put the second stitch in that next hook and then put the third stitch on top of it and then this first stitch in this last peg here and then because you are making two loops together in this needle here, we are going to be decreasing. So I'm going to decrease now four stitches, four stitches always in this side, every two rows. So I decreased already one. make two rows and repeat the process. So you're gonna be repeating this process four times, which means four stitches, 
And then we're gonna have left two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Uh, 18 stitches at the end, okay? Um, 17. So you're gonna have 17 stitches left for the shoulder part, okay? This is gonna be our shoulder. And as well, after decreasing all these all these stitches here on this side, you're gonna have to have 120 rows, the same number of rows you had for the back panels. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing this. And then I'll come back just with the um, seaming of the whole piece together. And now just after you made 120 rows, just remove the yarn. And release the stitches. So this is our round neck. As you can see, it's very round finish because of that few stitches we removed here. And that's the reason why you do it like this. So this part's round. Otherwise, it would be square if you just finish from here and keep making rows here. Unless you want it square and you want to make your life easier, you can do this way as well. But I'm just showing you how the round neck can easily work on these machines as well. So this is the shape we wanted. And now I'm going to show you how I'm going to put it together, starting with the back panel. So now that I finished all the panels, what I'm going to do is, these are the two back panels, and you, as you can see, they are straight. And the first thing you do is just seam in the middle, like just mattress stitch in the middle. I'm gonna put the link inside the pattern and also here the type of the stitch. But you're gonna, you basically gonna use this yarn tail you had and use this to seam both sides together in that same row here. And then from there to here, these two first stitches. I know this yarn is a little hard to see, so if you wanna see in the other tutorial, I have the other tutorial in that same in that same playlist where I had the basic stitches. I have the mattress stitch there as well. You can use mattress stitch to join almost everything. Okay, so I'm going to join these two back panels here. So we have a wider panel for the back and then I'm going to do the next step after, which is uh, seam the shoulders, okay? Okay, so here is my piece. I did mattress stitch in the middle, as you can see, this is the back, two back panels. And then after that, I graft stitch here. Okay, it's important for you to learn these stitches before, so I'm gonna leave down the description below a link to each one of these stitches, okay? And then I placed a marker here where I wanted my sleeve to go and I just mattress stitch all the way to where the sleeve goes and I left the tail like this so we can finish seaming the sleeves to the body after we bind off all the stitches around the piece and on the bottom, okay? I like to do that because the sleeves they add weight to the to the to your knitted piece and so I prefer to add them later so you know there's less things to deal with while you seaming the piece together okay and I did the same on the other side so mattress stitch all the way to where the sleeves will go all you have to do is really place a marker here and then place your sleeve. Always stretch the sleeve a bit so you know where to finish uh, with the mattress stitch, okay? So I had the yarn tail that I attached to the row with a knot here. And now with my hook, I'm going to just single crochet around, so and then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one single crochet to each second row. So I'm going to skip one row here. As you can see, I'm skipping this next hole. 
And I'm going to the next one. Always with a single crochet. Skip one, single crochet. Okay, skip one, single crochet. And trying to work always in that same stitch, going up this way. Now skip one, into the next one. Because if you don't skip one, you will have too many stitches and it won't look good at the end, it won't look neat. So that's why we always skip one, otherwise it would be too many stitches. So I'm going to do that on the sides, okay, like this. And then when I get here, you just, I'm just going to quickly show you how to bind off this, all the, these loops here. So um, you can repeat to finish down all these stitches and then here as well, how to do that, okay? So getting to this first corner here, you will have two loops. Then all you're gonna do is put the, the hook through that first loop, yarn over and pull the stitch. Pull through the second one, yarn over, pull it through. Third one, yarn over, pull it through. I'm making a slip stitch here instead, just because I'm binding off the stitches. And this is how it's going to look like. I'm going to do this all the way around the neck part to the other side. Just work the same way you did on this side here, skipping the rows. And then on the bottom, you, we are going to work the same way we are working here with slip stitches, okay? So I'm going to do that all around and then I'm going to show you how it looks like. Now, after you finished all the bottom with the uh, binding of the stitches, that's how it looks like. And I'm just going to remove now the waist yarn. Okay, so remove all the waist yarn this way, pull it like this, and then you're going to see which piece, which part of the yarn you have to pull and just pull it. Okay, and if you have stitches that you missed in this row, like sometimes here you might miss stitches and because this this yarn i love this yarn and that's why i bought it because i love the colors but it's a little hard to work with it's hard to see the stitches so on the next row i'm gonna make a half double crochet row just to avoid curling as well okay and and so on this next row i'm just going to grab any stitches that i might have missed here on the bottom like here, I think there's a stitch that I missed, you know, so do that on this next row of... Um, and here in this row here, you can either make... It's a row, uh, really, it's a row just to finish it better, you know, any imperfections and correct the imperfections on this last row, so... It's just, uh, you can make a single crochet or you can make a half double crochet. A half double crochet will be better to avoid curling, okay? So, if you don't like your project curling, just make sure you make a few half double crochets. To do that, after you finish this, in this corner here, we are going to chain one and then half double crochet one stitch in every stitch you have underneath this way and then so now i'm going to finish to make this half double crochet row all around it and then i'm going to make a few eye cords to put to you know add two ball ties here on the front okay i'm gonna add two one here and one here now here I already attached this sleeve to the side, to one of the sides and here I finished with the same two rows. I actually made three rows here 
So you can do that, like if you think your sleeves a little too short, you can just add a few rows of crochet on the bottom, so it gets longer. And then with that same tail we had from before that we used to seam the sides, we're going to start on this side just making that same stitch and then start on the very next stitch from the bottom, from the bottom to the top here to form that same V shape. And then don't worry about the tails because we go, we will use them to make a knot at the end. And then here just mattress stitch for two stitches following that same stitch you were using before. I know it's hard to see here, so if you want to watch this on the other tutorial that I have it's on the Knitting Machine Basics playlist. But it's basically two loops in one side and two rows on the other side. And then that's how the stitch looks like. And so after this, what I'm going to do, seam, seam all this leaf. And then we are going to make four eye cords to make the ball laces on the front. And then I'm going to show you how I made my eye cords on my Aji machine. Now to make the eye cords for the laces, we're going to make uh, four of them, two for the top and two for the bottom. That's their length. I'll put the length down in the description below, but it's, I made 60 rows okay, to each one of them. So you cast on like you would cast on a panel and cast on only five stitches. I have five stitches there and now to start just work like a panel and then here on both sides we are going to cinch this way so that's all we're gonna do on the sides and then just hide this tail on the back and leave a, long, a little longer tail on the other side so you can seam the um, eye cord to your sweater, to your cardigan. Okay, so 60 rows of this and then uh, just bind off with the same yarn, just cast off with the same yarn. I'm gonna show you how in a second. And then I'm just gonna attach them to the, to the cardigan with a tapestry needle. Now cut the yarn, make a row without the yarn to release and uh, you can also measure one on another as well just to make sure the size is right and then just bind off the stitches with the same yarn because we are going to cinch it so just this way And then here, choose the place where you want to attach them. I want kind of a distance in between them. So I'm just going to go through this stitch with the tail that I have on the other side. Make sure the, cu the curling part stays facing the back of your work. And then just go through, try to open the stitches a bit here. Let's go through a few stitches. I'm gonna attach the last one and then I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave me your like. If you enjoyed this tutorial, if this tutorial was helpful uh, for you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave me your like. Leave me your comment as well, let me know if you like this tutorial and how did you go making yours. I'm really happy with mine. I just, I had to use this yarn. I'm sorry, guy, I know 
might be a little hard to see, but I just fell in love with the yarn and then I had to use it. 